it. So now have a little walk around Keithley, see what Keithley has to offer. It's been a lot of years since I've been here and I can't remember anything about it. I know someone who used to, I worked with someone who lived in Keithley and he didn't have anything good to say about the place. Uh, anyway, I'll make me all mind up. Here I come, now I'm minus two. <laughs> A view down there's the train that have just come on and the engine of course has gone to the front of the carriages now to pull it out forward facing Keeper coming for you cobbles outside the railway station that's in keeping <laughs> Grey day in Keithley but it was what I was expecting. Heavy rain all afternoon I think. Right, I found out where Cliff Castle Museum is so I'm going to head there. Points of interest in Keithley just seem to be highlighting the supermarkets and the mosques so I saw a map of the greater area and I've got to head up Skipton Road to Cliff Castle about a 25 minute walk so I think that is where I need to be across the road get on to Skipton Road. You'll see a little bit of the shops no doubt, I think we go past the bus station. Aldi, Iceland, Sainsbury's, Keithley, Supermarket Central. That's Crossover. Here's a view of Cavendish Street in the town centre, clearly on a much brighter and drier day than when I visited. I was underwhelmed by Keithley's shops. There's an indoor market with a good selection of stalls, that was a highlight. Then there was a shopping mall, an almost equal mix of the usual generic national names and closed down stores. I was left with the impression that if you wanted a career as a barber, then this was the place to come. I counted 20 barber shops in just the small part of town I passed through. Goodness knows how many there are in total. Now why would there be that many barber shops in one place, you may well ask. Just when I'm about giving up hope, I walked into this Devonshire park. I'm the only person in the park and nobody wants to come for a walk today. I wonder why. I found a You Are Here board. Here, yeah. so I need to go, go right, right, and somewhere Cliff Castle Park Museum. That's where I need to be heading. Right and right, and then Sussex from there. So, a brief visit to Devonshire Park then. I'm the only soul in Keith out for a walk today. Right and then right again. Okay. Hopefully, see you when we're near the pa near this museum. So I'm here. I'm in Cliff Castle Museum yeah. Park. Now, like a lot of Victorian millionaires, they like to build their houses in the form of a castle, and he's named it Cliff Castle. And he's got the sort of castle frontage here behind me. And of course, it's not a, not a castle. Well, maybe that came about from the, the saying, an, Engli an Englishman's home is this castle. But all the, all the frontage is sort of castellated form. There we are. What's this around the side here? It's like caves. I wonder if this was like some sort of like, yeah, the sort of cave, like 
unusual rock formations here. What is this? A hermit's house? I don't know. Yeah, look. Well, a cave dwelling. So you are looking for somewhere to live. Under the desirable detached property next door. Welcome to Cliff Castle. We'll see if it's a welcome or not. It says photography is permitted for personal use. So hopefully we'll be all right. Keithley's treasure house open. Really busy. I'm surprised. This is just the small drawing room. Or the music drawing room. The great drawing room or the grand salon. Almost looks like there's a mirror in between the rooms, but there isn't. Oh, this is a music room. Now Cliff Castle was a decent museum, even if it was a bit heavy on fossils and how the geographic area evolved. I must admit I lose interest with too much of that kind of thing. I was however surprised how busy it was. The surrounding park looked pleasant enough and if it had been a better day I'd have spent more time there. It was then time to go back to the railway station for the train to Oxenhub. People getting off Keithley. Keithley, this is Keithley. The man about to take a train at the platform house. The train now coming at the platform house. Yeah, it's all the little details that I remember as well as a, as a child. Like these notches here, these were from a blind that could pull down and then you could either have it there, there, or there. And then this heat here, yeah, you used to put your feet up. Put your feet up on the heater and warm your feet through. There's another little detail. The window. Sliding windows. It was also possible to drop the windows on the carriage doors. Another memory from childhood. Dad would hold me as I was allowed to stick my head out to look forward to watch the train rattling along. Smoke blowing in my face from the engine. We were always warned though, through the stories Dad knew of people having their heads knocked clean off through doing the self same thing. I guess he must have been behind me looking out for things that might just do that. Yeah, <laughs>
It's starting to fall and the Christmas lights are on. Tea room here. Yeah. It leaves at quarter past three. I'll still look at the end of that. Really, really enjoyed that experience on the Keithley and Worth Valley Railway. Absolutely fantastic. And all the people who work, work on the railway are volunteers as well and are all friendly. Obviously doing it just for the joy. Absolutely fantastic. I hope I get to go on it again before we go. Have to go home. Brilliant. I understand you can break your journey as well, so like we want to go to Haworth and I might go on the railway to the to Haworth, that'd be great. But for now, I'll leave this the locomotive behind. Just got a five minute walk up the road back to the bottom of that farm track and then it's a mile uphill. Got my shopping. Carried out my orders. And we'll get back to the cottage, house, whatever, and that lovely warm underfloor heating. <laughs> so yeah, I've got a, a mile walk up a hill, but that's now, is it? Okay, so until then, till the next time, Dodger and out.